Hey guys, in light of many of my videos being demonetized for gangster movie related content, I've launched a Patreon page. You can support the channel by becoming a Patreon and in return you can get benefits like having your name mentioned in my videos, early access to upcoming videos, you can choose topics for upcoming videos and more. Click on the link in the description below for more details. If you don't want to become a Patreon, that's perfectly fine and I'll still be uploading videos as normal. In Martin Scorsese's gangster film Goodfellas, we follow the life of mafia hood Henry Hill as he and his friends run numerous criminal rackets to fill their bulging pockets. Once an envious local boy, Henry is transformed into a fully fledged gangster, mentored by the likes of Paul Cicero and Jimmy Conway, and backed up by the likes of his unhinged friend and fellow mobster Tommy DeVito. One of Henry's most successful operations involves drug dealing, and he also becomes a junkie himself, seemingly ignoring the age-old warning, don't get high on your own supply. Henry's constant use of coke makes him paranoid and frantic, traits that are amplified by the fact that Henry's boss Paulie specifically came to him personally and told him not to do anything related to drugs and told Henry to come to him and tell him if he caught wind of anyone dealing drugs in his crew. With Henry clearly not having Paulie's blessing when it came to the coke dealing, he has to sneak around the back of him to continue his operations and live the life of luxury he always dreamed of. Eventually though, Henry's luck ran out and he faced a lengthy jail spell for his narcotics related crimes. Scared and edgy, Henry begins to believe he might be killed by Paulie and Jimmy. Paulie for the fact that Henry went against his orders and Jimmy because he suspected that Jimmy thought Henry would become an informant in order to save his own skin and avoid jail time thus putting Jimmy and other mobsters in danger. As shown in the film, Jimmy isn't hesitant in killing mobsters, even his own crew, if they pose a danger whereby evidence could arise that he is linked with a crime. He even wipes out an entire crew that were involved with the Latanza heist, including a woman who had nothing to do with it. Eventually, Henry does flip, and his testimony sends both Paulie and Jimmy to jail, and Henry goes into the witness protection program. Before this though, during the period where Henry is convinced he's going to be whacked, he constantly tells his wife that they need to move and disappear if they want to survive. His wife Karen brushes this off as Henry being paranoid, but then in one of the most talked about scenes in the film, Karen and Jimmy discuss matters with each other before Jimmy offers to give Karen a few dresses free of charge to make her feel better. He directs her to a store at the end of the block, but interestingly doesn't go with her. She walks to the area that Jimmy tells her to go to, but is spooked when she sees several large burly men and no dresses in sight. Karen immediately makes an excuse and jumps into her car and drives off, much to the lamentation of Jimmy. The thing that everybody talks about with regards to this scene is whether Jimmy was actually going to kill Karen or not. Martin Scorsese delivers this scene very ominously, from the shady way Robert De Niro acts to the slow-mo the creepy shot of the men moving around the boxes, the way Jimmy looks around the streets as if to make sure no one's watching, and the way the camera slowly moves around the corner to reveal the men. Jimmy is also standing next to a truck that has its back door open, but there is seemingly no truck driver. This could be perhaps the way Jimmy was planning on dumping Karen's body after the deed was done. Jimmy's reaction after Karen decides to jump in her car seems quite over the top also, for a man who just wanted to give her some dresses. Scorsese is a master when it comes to filming and editing scenes to highlight a character's paranoia, making a seemingly simple, innocent and straightforward situation seem threatening and menacing. Many of his movies, such as Raging Bull, The Aviator and Shutter Island are full of this, and this scene with Karen is one of the finest examples in Scorsese's filmography. But was it just paranoia though? Or was Jimmy really intending to whack the wife of Henry, even before he had killed the man himself? Fans have been debating this for years, and it is clearly ambiguous. There is actually a third possibility also, in that Jimmy was not going to kill Karen, but was intentionally trying to scare her, in order to essentially send a message to Henry about what would happen if he thinks about flipping. Or maybe, the fact that Henry is avoiding Jimmy, and the way Karen just zooms off, highlights to Jimmy just how paranoid and irate the couple have become, and fears that they might flip, and this incident is actually what convinces Jimmy to plan to kill Henry. 
There is a general opinion that the Mafia do not touch wives or children, but real-life examples have shown us this isn't always the case. And Jimmy, who technically isn't even in the Mafia seeing as though he is an Italian and therefore does not have to follow the rules that made men must do, has already had a woman murdered in the film, and later on, US attorney Edward MacDonald warns Karen that if Henry goes into the witness protection program alone, the mob will come after her to get to him. So it's clear, murdering Karen is definitely not off the table. And even if Jimmy wasn't planning on murdering Karen right there and then, it was unwise for her to hang around so close to him whilst there was so much tension surrounding Henry possibly flipping. I believe that Jimmy was going to murder Karen, and the reason I believe this is because of something I noticed on a recent rewatch. You may have seen this already, and if you have, you'll know that when Karen decides to get back into her car, we are shown a wide shot where we can see both Karen and Jimmy on the street, and the camera does a pedestrian move by rising upwards. If you're quick, you'll notice that on the right hand side there is a don't walk sign, and even more interestingly, a one-way sign, pointing in the direction that Karen was about to walk into where her potential murderers are. This, for me, seals it, as I feel it's a clear but clever indication from Scorsese that Karen would have in fact been murdered had she walked into the store. Also, if you listen carefully, when the men are moving the boxes around, one of them clearly says, block the window, as if preparing to stage a hit, and when they see Karen, they shush each other, as if not to spook her. Jimmy's reaction is also very telling. Rather than look perplexed and confused as to why Karen didn't take one of the dresses, he looks vexed and irritated, as if a plan of his had just been foiled. Of course, all of these points I just mentioned can be brushed off as Scorsese putting us in Karen's shoes so that we feel her state of paranoia and tension, but I still think Jimmy was going to have her whacked. After all, he was ruthless enough to eliminate an entire crew to avoid being linked to a robbery. Either way, this is a man capable of having her killed, but also a man capable of giving her a few dresses for free. It is also worth mentioning that Henry's suspicions about Jimmy weren't without reason, as later on in the film, Jimmy asks Henry to murder someone for him for the first time in Henry's life, a strange thing for someone with so much heat on him to do, and according to reports, the real-life Jimmy was heard on wiretaps talking to Paulie about the need to having Henry eliminated. So what do you think? Do you think Karen was just being paranoid, or was Jimmy actually going to have her murdered? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.